Hi and welcome back. It's been a while but today we have got a super exciting food adventure to take you on. We are going to one of the first restaurants that we know that offers this service in Qatar and we are so excited to try it and some of the food that goes along with it. Let me tell you where we are. You might be wondering why we're sat in the car, but that is all part of the fun of tonight. We're at the Zero Three Mall in New Salata. We've come to a, a restaurant, it's called Sorry Sorry Asian Fusion. They do obviously Asian dishes, clues in the name. Uh, so they do Thai, they do Filipino, and they do Chinese. Today we've come down to try the Thai part of the menu. We're going to come back, I think, next week and try the Filipino or maybe the Chinese, but we'll see. We're going to have some fantastic authentic Thai dishes cooked by a chef from Thailand and we're going to eat it inside the car. This is an Asian fusion restaurant and it's supposed to bring the taste of home to you. So tonight we're trying some of their Thai dishes and obviously we love Thailand so super excited for this. It's a new concept as we mentioned earlier and it's called a car dining experience. So basically they bring the table and the restaurant to you which in the current climate is really safe, um, a really safe dining experience and you don't have to go into a restaurant to eat but you get the same quality rather than a takeaway. If you get any value from the video don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like it and we're going to go and find out what this is all about. Let's check it out. So we're just going to go inside, see if we can find out where the restaurant is, uh, we're going to pay for the meal and then see what we have to do. Kind of exciting. The restaurant and the mall is at Al Jadida Al Salata. I think I've said that right. We'll leave you a link in the description of how to get here. All the days, all the ways I dreamt that you were mine. When you're gone, I'll carry on. We popped inside to see where we needed to park the car and they come out and they direct you where to park so we parked right in front of the mall so just gotta wait now for them to bring the table out to us we're really excited to see what happens okay this might be the cleverest invention I've ever seen to be quite honest with you. They've just brought the table out to us, you roll your windows down, two of them bring it out to you and it kind of just slots in your car and then they push the sides in a little bit so you can still put your windows up which currently it's about 40 degrees here so the air con and the windows up is a necessity. So you've got a little drink stand and then this really nice shiny table which I match today The food is here and we have got enough to feed an army. It smells incredible. If I shut my eyes, I could actually be in Thailand. It smells that good. So excited. We have got one, two, three, four, 
five dishes. So we've got, where do we even begin? We've got a papaya salad, which is one of their award-winning dishes. So super excited to try that one. We've then got seafood pad thai, which speaks for itself, amazing. Another award winner. A crispy catfish and mango salad, which I can't wait to try that. My one that I'm so excited for is called Plan Nung Menorah. So it's a whole stuffed fish, which has got lemon and chili and it's steamed and it just looks so good. And the last thing that we've got, but by no means least, is seafood tom yum, which the color of it is beautiful. That's like being back in Thailand. It's spicy, it's fresh. I taste the papaya in there, I'm sure the papaya, there's the tomatoes, there's the chilies. Crockery can either be plastic tubs, which we've got, you can also choose to have a romantic version. So it doesn't cost any more. You can have the ceramic dishes, ceramic plates and proper knives and forks. That's so spicy, that's so good. And a candle. You also get a candle. A little bit of romance. That takes me right back to being in Bangkok. That is amazing. It's got the right amount of spice, right amount of fish sauce. There's some whole chilies in there which I did avoid, I have to admit, but that is fantastic. If the rest of the food is anywhere near as good as that, wow. This is for me, it's all about the tom yum. It's a seafood tom yum. I can see some crabs in there, it's got some crab legs in. It smells delicious, some crab legs, there's some squid in there, there's some other kinds of fish, there's, oh, look at that crab. I can just smell the kaffir lime leaves, I can smell the galangal, I can smell the garlic, the coriander, it's just delicious and I just need to be eating this straight away. A lot of places you get squid and it's rubbery as you know, but that's just bite through tender. You can just see the crabs and the tomatoes in there. Oh, it's just so good, it's so tasty. Peanuts, sugar, chili flakes. Not too many! Not too many chili flakes for Lucy. Oh, and the pad thai. Mix in there, look at that tamarind sauce. Oh, there's some squid in there too. This is one of my favourite, favourite Thai dishes of all time. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to get a big forkful of this Pad Thai. I've had this in Bangkok by the side of the road many, many times. Let's see how this compares. That has to be one of the best Pad Thais I've ever tasted. And we've had them all over Thailand. Bangkok, we've had them in everywhere, we've had them in Vietnam, we've had them in Cambodia, we've had them in India I think. But that must be one of the best pad thais. I can see why it's an award winner. That is delicious. Let me have some more. That is a delicious pad thai. Oh my god, there's a guy who's bringing some more food. What's going on? Amazing. Hi. So, so good. good. Mom, this is the bubble tea, bubble tea taro. Iced tea. Thank you. Lemon and iced tea. Thank you. This pad thai is amazing. Because uh, the, our chef is a Thai chef and they cook authentic food. And this is the cow pad crapauser <laughs> with kai <gai> dao. <laughs> this just gets better. So we're just talking to the, the manager outside and we just said, explain that we've been to Thailand many times and etc. etc. And I said my favourite dish is Pad Caprao. Five minutes later, there's a knock on the window, the guys come outside, there's a Pad Caprao 
with a crispy egg on the top, some rice. That looks absolutely amazing. I can smell the Thai basil in there. This is my favourite Thai dish. Like We've also drinks. got some drinks. It's a bubble tea, taro flavoured bubble tea. And Lucy's got just a regular iced tea. But After Lee's rave review, I have got to try this pad thai. Mm. Sticky, sweet, chilly. That is a winner. A hundred percent a winner. So I've got to go in for some of this pad kapow. It's my favourite dish, apart from pad thai and pad siu. But anywhere I go, if there's pad kapow on the menu, I'm gonna have it. Crispy egg on top, standard. It's a double egg actually. So let's just let's try this egg first. Soft, crispy on the edges. Got to find a chilli. It's delicious. Pad Kapow, oyster sauce, soy sauce, a bit of fish sauce, Thai basil, chilies, a bit of cucumber on the side, but that is fantastic with a crispy egg. Mm. Oh, that's super good. Thai basil, the aniseed flavour isn't one of my favourites, but that's quite subtle. You get the spice and you get the sweet, you get the saltiness. That's really good. I've tried to recreate this at home and it's never anywhere near as good as that could be. The dish I've been most looking forward to out of all of this is the whole fish. It's got lemons on the top and it's stuffed and it's in a sauce. It just looks so good and it's a sea bass which is one of my favourite fishes so let's give this a go. Mm. That just falls apart. It is so delicately. Oh, that's amazing. It's just, it's just got that nice Thai aroma, the lemon comes through, that is perfect. Oh, that for me is incredible. Plan Nung Manawa. So it's a fish and it's in a steamed, I think it's a sea bass, it's in a chilli and lemon soup. Mmm, that's delicious. The fish is so meaty, like Lucy said, you can taste the lemon in there. Just excellent. So the last dish we <coughs> Oh, that was a chili. The last dish we've got to try is the crispy catfish salad. So when they brought it out, the catfish was underneath and it looks a bit like a nest almost, and then they put the salad on top, which has got mango in it. I don't think I've ever had catfish, so I'm super excited to try this. Definitely had catfish in uh, Bangkok once. Oh we did, didn't we? The salad on the top is lovely and fresh, again like the papaya salad. The catfish is still crispy, so I want to work on getting some of that. The catfish is kind of crispy, like a floss almost. So, if you didn't know that was fish, I don't think you'd know that's what you were eating. So that fish is like a candy floss texture. It's crunchy and you put it in your mouth and then it sort of dissolves with a bit of a chew to it. Oh my god, I want to eat some more and try some more of that. Okay, catfish. So I think there's onion, there's peanuts in there, there's some mango, some kind of flossy thing, which I'm not sure what it is. I think that's the actual catfish. It's like maybe pulled catfish. Um, I think there's a bit of papaya in there maybe. There's definitely some coriander, some peanuts. Something a bit of fish sauce maybe, but let's try it. So coriander is my favourite herb. Coriander, mango and catfish is something that I never thought I would enjoy. But with the chilli, a little bit of onion, a little bit of carrot, that's perfect. I'm just going to try some of this broth first to see what that tastes like. 
Oh, wow. Tom Yum would never be something I would personally choose, but that is so nice. It's not overly, there's no overriding flavours, it all just blends together. Oh, I want to try some more. You can taste the coconut milk, you can taste the lime leaves, you can taste, it all just balances brilliantly and I can see a big prawn, that's what I want to eat. There's so much seafood in this Tom Yum if you dig around in it. There's half crabs, there's crab claws, there's big prawns, there's squid. So I'm just going to have this bit of crab. It's worth the faffing to get it out. sauce that's on it it's a bit like what you would get in the bottles on the tables in Thailand is it what's it called it's like a namprik chili sauce and it. it's quite mild but it just adds so nice to that fish as I mentioned we got some drinks to try and we've saved those till last I have got a lemon iced tea which is a staple in Thailand for me that is like Thailand in a glass it's sweet, it's lemony, it's got the tea taste. Oh, that's so good. I want more of that. We've also got a bubble tea to try, and this is a taro milk tea, I think it is. So it's like a, a bit of a purpley colour almost, and it's got the tapioca balls in the bottom of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this or not. an acquired taste I think the taro I don't think is for me but it's got a really nice sweet milky flavour to it maybe I'll try a different flavour in that one Bubble tea, bit of Thailand right there. Delicious. Sawadee Everything okay? Amazing. Everything perfect. Thank you. Best Thai food we have ever eaten. Thank you. C certainly the best Thai food we have had in, in Qatar. So good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what now? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As if we hadn't eaten enough food, they've just brought us some dessert out. Cleared the decks a little bit and we've now got mango sticky rice with custard and then like a, I think it's a coconut sauce to go on it. This should be really good. Mango sticky rice, traditional Thai dessert. This one's got a custard on. Let's give it a try. Let's try this custard with some of the rice without the mango. Coconut sauce also. Mmm. Sticky rice cooked perfectly as well. And so tasty. It's just after six full main dishes. Kind of full, but there's always room for mango sticky rice. What a fantastic evening at Sorry Sorry Asian Fusion Restaurant. That food was amazing, hence why we are still sat down because we are full. Absolutely so full. We had maybe five or six main dishes, some sides, some rice, some extra dishes which the chef brought out as a surprise but it's some of the most authentic Thai food we have ever eaten. I think some of the best, best Thai food 
even including that that we've eaten in Thailand. It was authentic, it was fresh, it was flavorful, incredible. Particularly the Pad Thai. Make sure you go to Sari Sari, check out the Pad Thai, check out the seafood Tom Yum. Check out all the dishes, they're all absolutely amazing. As many as you can fit in. Really good service, the management of the team looked after us so well. The prices are very reasonable for the food that you get. Award winning dishes, what yeah. more can you say? Really good portion sizes, you will not walk away hungry by any stretch of the imagination. Go and check it out. We're going to go and check the Filipino menu out, which looks amazing, even more amazing than maybe the Thai menu. But we're going to eat inside the restaurant, so check it out in this video, maybe here you or. Know, possibly here but we'll leave a link in the description box below make sure you check this place out yeah 100% agree can't wait to go back and try some more so if you get any value from this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a like don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed we'd really appreciate it and make sure you keep your eye out for our series of Qatar vlogs coming in the next few weeks for some fantastic information if you're thinking of moving or relocating or even just visiting Qatar don't forget to leave a comment below and if you want to get notified when we do some more videos, give that little bell icon a click. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.